I was seven when I moved to California, and that's the first time I remember seeing the ocean. It was beautiful, but so cold, and I was frightened that it would sweep me away forever. Whoa, what are they doing over there? Are they jump roping? I think they're digging for mole crabs. Want to get closer? Yeah, what are mole crabs? Well, they're really nice little guys. They won't bite, I promise. The larger ones are usually girls, and the smaller ones are usually boys. How do I know if it's a boy or a girl? Well, let's see if they caught one, and I'll show you. Hey guys, can we see one of your mole crabs? Sure. Look, Alex. We can see under there and check. It's a girl. You can tell because the girls have little strings that look like spaghetti on their belly that help them hold their eggs. What happens after that? You mean to the eggs? Well, they hatch, and then the babies drift into the ocean where they become little plankton and float around for about a year before they come back to shore as recruits. What do they eat out there? They eat plankton. Is that what seabirds eat too? I like seabirds. Actually, seabirds eat the mole crabs, and then the mole crabs eat plankton. It's actually really interesting. Have you ever thought about what might happen if something happened to the mole crab population? No. What happened? Well, if we got rid of all the mole crabs, a few things would happen. All the things that eat the mole crabs would die because now they have nothing to eat, and that includes seabirds. Also, the plankton population in the ocean would increase like crazy. Know why? No. Why? Because if there's nothing to eat the plankton, they would populate like crazy. You see, the thing about the ocean ecosystem is that every little critter is important, even mole crabs. That's so cool. So why are they digging up the mole crabs? Oh, well, I did the same thing at my school, Lick Warm Reading High School. We came out here with this program called Limpets. What is Limpets? It's this really cool program that gives kids an opportunity to do real science work in the field. We come out, and using a very organized way to collect mole crabs, we count them. But that's not the best part. All of the mole crabs we counted gets put into a huge database, and then the people who run limpets can protect parts of the California coastline and regulate coastal activities. How do they protect it, though? Well, the data they collect is the first step in a chain of steps to understanding the ocean. Because you can't protect what you don't understand, right? Right! That's what I want to do when I grow up. I love the ocean with its little fishies and mole crabs. Ever since that walk on the beach with Nina, I have searched for mole crabs hiding in the sands of Ocean Beach. Something was lit inside me, and every day I think about the oceans of my world, our world. We need more people like Nina who inspire those around us to care for and protect the oceans. Bring back, oh bring back my mole crabs to me, to me, bring back.